Tables are blocks of data in a spreadsheet where the data that's stored across a row is somehow related to all of the other data in that row. That may not seem like an earth-shaking concept if you've used Excel. We often organize information in that way. In fact, a majority of what you're already used to doing in Excel is going to work exactly the same way and still apply. This includes basic skills like adding and editing content, inserting and deleting rows and columns, pasting data, applying formatting, even creating calculations, and sorting and filtering data. So initially, it may not seem like tables do anything that we haven't been able to do already. But what we'll discover as we begin to look at and work with tables is that there is a lot of functionality and benefits that just aren't immediately apparent. These include things like being able to do things automatically or have them happen automatically instead of manually having to do them. That, of course, comes into doing multiple steps in one action instead of having to do them individually. We're going to be able to help avoid data errors, and that, of course, is critical for anybody that uses Excel. And in doing all of this, it's going to make us more efficient. In addition to ourselves, though, all of these things and features that tables provide also make Excel as a piece of software more efficient and stable. That means fewer hangs and crashes, especially if you work with very complex or large worksheets. I know those can be kind of generic, and of course we'll be looking at them in detail throughout the rest of the series. But things like adjusting the size of a data range that we want Excel to consider for things like calculations and charts, this is greatly simplified. In other words, with a table, we don't have to worry about it anymore. Excel is going to do it for us. Things like formatting can be automatic, and that's not even talking about the sorting and filtering options that are available as well. So those are some of those obvious features that we'll be diving into throughout the series. But there are also those behind the scenes ones, like making it more efficient and more stable that is really hard to kind of put your arms around. We just know that it works better and we get less frustrated using the program. So I guess if we ask the question again, why do we need tables? The actual answer is we don't. Almost everything that we can do within a table, we can do using other more manual methods. But why do things the hard way when you can do them the easy way? And that's what tables are gonna provide. But if we had to summarize the benefits of tables, because they are so varied and so many, it would have to come down to a few bullet points. Tables make things easier, faster, more flexible, more precise, and more stable. And I don't know anybody who uses Excel who doesn't want each of these things to be part of their Excel experience.